Darrell, congratulations. Another fabulous performance. This is really Super Gin 3.09, taken over and you're looking cool, calm and collected on stage again. Yeah, but it, it might look that way, but inside I'm literally tearing myself up. Um, but no, it's come together. Um, I'm trying to put pieces together to make myself better. Uh, I, I played brilliant in the Grand Prix in, in the first round and then literally um, I, I've just got nerves in me that I can't control sometimes and I was so nervous before I played Joe and uh, that was my downfall. But uh, like tonight again, it was like whatever he had, I, I, I believed I could back it and I believed I could beat it and I knew I could win and then Maybe the next time then I, I, I struggle, but I, I don't know why that is. But uh, no, feel good they won that game because obviously I haven't won that many games against Gizzy at all. Never mind on the stage or pro tour. Uh, I, I know I beat him in the, the World Series, but uh, it's not a ranking tournament, so I don't know if he really wanted to be there or whatever. But uh, glad they beat him in the one that actually matters. You touched on getting nervous still. Mm -hmm. Do you almost forget how to win considering you've won big titles, played? in amazing arenas in the Premier League. Do you, do you forget that winning feeling and forget how to win them? You do. You do. You really do. I feel like um, sometimes that whenever I won them titles in 2017, 2018, I feel like that's so long ago, I don't remember what it feels like. I generally don't. Only thing I remember, remember about that night whenever I won the Grand Prix was going up to the VIP bar and ordering everybody pizzas and playing pool. I, I don't remember anything about the darts. Um, but um, yeah, no, I, I put myself under a lot of pressure. Uh, now I just, I feel like I know what's going on now in the game. And whenever, like a couple of years ago, I was like, just repetition, just going through the motions, hitting 180s, hitting trebles, hitting doubles. And then all of a sudden you find yourself at the finish line, you hit it, you win the game. Now it's like, I've got to process everything because I'm getting really old so um yeah that's hard to take um but i'm st i still feel like i'm playing better now than i ever did whenever i won them titles but the pdc is an absolute monster of a machine the players the standard the dedication of everybody nowadays makes it really difficult um if there was uh, a connect darts connect back then uh, it would definitely tell you that I'm a better player now, but I'm not winning anything. I mean, a semi-final, the odd final, uh, and then quarters, last eight. So the standard has risen dramatically. What do you have to do then to convert those semi-finals, quarter-finals into wins? I don't know, trying to find a role that I can throw away four darts. Um, last week, I got beat. Last week, I was absolutely diabolical. And then... I started seeing what other people were hitting, 112, 116, 110 averages. And I was, I, the only thing I could say was, I can't wait until I'm not here in probably 10, 12 years time, whenever I, do, I haven't got to put up with that day in and day out. And I can retire happy. So uh, yeah, no, it's just one of them things. The dart standard, there is no limit on darts. And that's the thing, you can't like say that tennis, you serve as an ace point over. Somebody now could go easily miss one dart at a double for a nine dart and still lose a leg. This is, this is what uh, the crowd, uh, the people at home love about darts is that it uh, doesn't matter what you do in darts, you can always be beat or you can always win. Darryl, thank you very much. Cheers. Darryl, was there a frustration in that match because you was the better play throughout yet it took a long time to get that break of throw and really get away from Gilly? Um, no, uh, it was frustrating, but it's Gizzy Price, you know what I mean, a, a Premier League player. You can't just turn around and go like, he's number, just say randomly, he's number six in the world. Oh, I'm not playing number 20, 126 in the world. Um, whenever you got to break a player of uh, his caliber and standard, it's not going to come like an 18 darter or 21 darter or whatever. Uh, you've got to stick in there and take your opportunity and take your chances and um, I felt comfortable on my throw um, whenever I got the like two all, three all and I just thought just push on now, push on 
and uh, I did that and gave myself the opportunity, took it, and then after that I feel like Gizzy just dipped a wee bit and uh, that was enough for me to uh, get the win and sneak through. Not that you said that everybody else has stepped up their game since you were at your peak a few years ago, but you said at the World Grand Prix that 26 is about right for you, but do you think that's a little bit harsh on yourself? Because you are playing so well, you're strong end to the European Tour, two quarterfinals. Do you feel like and actually you should be getting towards that top 20, top 16? Listen, I would love to be in the top 20, pushing the top 16, but whatever I do sometimes, it comes back to bite me and doesn't matter what I do I, I just feel like it's my luck so I think I overtook Rutaski and I'm pushing Clemens or I just went above Clemens and for a couple of years I moved in I was 25 in the world but then all of a sudden uh, the Decker wins the Grand Prix and all of a sudden then he's five grand in front of me so what I've all the hard work I've done for like the last year and a half to try and climb above two players all of a sudden I'm five grand behind a player that's just won a major and I keep on feel like I keep on feel like and Joseph's there and I keep on feel like I'm butting my head against the wall. I, I try so hard, I try to be more competitive now because all in the last bar the last two years I felt like I went in the pro tours and I thought if I didn't feel like it, I back just whoever they can beat me, they can win. And now I've got more determination about me and I hang in there. And then I thought, oh, I've done well now. I've climbed two places, and whenever, as soon as I won, as soon as I went them two places, Decker won. And then all of a sudden, he's he's back in front of me, pushed me back one, and he's five grand in front of me. And I thought, doesn't matter what I do, there's always somebody coming from behind me, doing something better than what I'm doing. They keep me where I am, and. Uh, yeah, some, sometimes I, I really am frustrated and bang my head against the wall because at times I'm more... Um, at times I am more like there and thereabouts in last 16, last eight and stuff like that. But whenever they get there, they win it. So I always feel like I'm dragging behind kind of thing. Um, they, they'll get beaten the first round the next day. Next day I'll get beaten the uh, last 16 and uh, we're all kind of square but then they turn up uh, next time and they'll, they'll make a final or win it whereas I'll turn up and make a quarter finals and then I'm always still making up that difference uh, so that's always hard for me but um, yeah, no, the standard from myself has went up but I need to get over that finish line of one the tournament somewhere should it be a major should it be a, a players championship or a quarter final uh, i need to do that to help me rank and to get me away from the place that i seem to be stuck cheers i appreciate that thank you cheers thank you